Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Linear Ramp Continuous Controller Events in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this feature is it's going to allow us to create linear fades using Continuous Controller information or MIDI information. I'm going to give you a few examples of how we can use it and where this feature is really helpful. The first example is with a drum fill. And I have a drum track right here, ready to go. Let's say I want to play a snare roll and I want it to fade in very gradually, but I want it to be perfect. So let's record a drum part with a drum fill. I was a bit sloppy. Let's hear it back quantized. So now it's in time, but the fade in on the velocity isn't perfect. So let's double click it and check out the MIDI editor. And here you could see all the notes, and down over here is the velocities, which you could switch out to any continuous controller information right over here. But as you can see, the velocities aren't perfect. We want it to fade in continuously, perfectly over time. As you probably realize, we could just redraw this information just by dragging over here. Just drag it up but it's not gonna be perfect. As you can see right here, if my hand isn't steady, it's gonna be a bit off. So we wanna use the feature to make this better. If we go to our preferences and we scroll down to editing behavior and mouse modifiers, we can see in the MIDI continuous controller lane, left drag, the feature's right here. When we hold down the shift key, linear ramp continuous controller events. So if we hold down our shift key, we can edit the events and make our fade ins and fade outs perfect or linear. So let's hold down the shift key and redraw these events, the velocity. And as you can see, now it's perfect. And we can start as low as we want and go as high as we want. But it's gonna stay linear. Let's hear that. It starts a bit low in the beginning, so let's fix it again to not go as low. Let's go about the midway right here, but it's still perfect or linear across the range. Perfect. And we could also fade out the same way. We could start up here, hold on shift, and bring it down, and do it again from here all the way up. And create a fade out and a fade in. And we could do it multiple times. Let's start up here and go down, then back up then back down, holding down shift each time. Pretty useful. Now this can be used with any continuous control information we want. For example, let's try this with a synth. In this project, I have a synth on this track. Right over here, and I wanna create continuous controller information using the cutoff filter right here. Right now, it sounds like this. But I want to readjust the cutoff filter as I play. So I could right click it and assign MIDI Learn by moving a fader 
on my USB keyboard, like this. So now that fader controls the cutoff. So now I want to record a part while also recording that data. So it's going to record on this track and record our part. Let's hear it back. And once again, we can get it perfect by using the linear ramp feature. Let's double click it to open up the MIDI editor, which looks like this with our notes and our velocity. And now we can change what we see down here, right over here. Instead of choosing velocity, we could scroll through this list and find the continuous controller we want to work on. Now, luckily in Reaper, if there's a dot next to the number, there's information recorded. So I could tell my fader is number 73. And we can see the data right here. Like I said before, we could draw it in by hand, just like this, but it's not gonna be perfect. If my hand isn't steady, it's gonna be crooked. So let's hold down Shift and do the same thing. And just select in the continuous controller lane and bring it up or down and make it perfect. Let's do this one again. And do the same with each note. Let's draw this one first and then fix it. Hear it all back. Now the fades are perfect. And we can readjust them by holding down shift and just move them to a different spot. Higher or lower. But always perfect or linear across time. And again, we can change it to start high and go low and low and go high on any grid we want. And like I said, this is going to work with any continuous controller information we use. So that's the feature, linear ramp continuous controller events in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.